Hey guys, this is Mark with 206.com, and I am here with the director of Spy Time, Mr. Javier Ruiz Caldera. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you today? Very well. <laughs> uh, the jet lag is uh, still in my, right. in, my, in my brain, but... Now, you got into Seattle two days ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, is, uh, everything's kind of a blur for you coming into Seattle. Yeah, but <laughs> I feel very comfortable in Seattle because it's, we have... Uh, the sea like Barcelona uh, oh, right. uh, in Spain, that, that's the place I live, then I feel some kind of like home. <laughs> Excellent, so that's good. So, uh, so you're getting adjusted. Had you been here before to Seattle? No, no uh, first time for me. Oh really? Have you seen much of the city? Yeah, I, 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 I yesterday was walking around mm -hmm. and I go to the, uh, I don't know the name of the... Oh, that Ferris wheel. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. I do the typical yeah, uh, the tourist, tourist yeah. uh, plan. <laughs> What's funny is people that live here, like myself, we never do the tourist <laughs> stuff because we figure, oh, it's right there, we'll get to it. But then I still haven't done the Ferris wheel and it's been here for like three years now, so I'm glad you've had a chance to do it. <laughs> it happens the same in Spain. I, 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 there's places in Barcelona I've never been and I live there. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. So uh, let's get right into the movie here, Spy Time. Uh, I loved it. I saw it a couple nights ago at the Uptown and I thought it was just a fantastic movie laughed all the way through <laughs> applause at the end so thank you for making the movie um, from what I understand the character of Anacleto himself is kind of special to you uh, can you tell me how that process of the movie came about and what the inspiration for that was yeah Anacleto the, the main character of, of Spy Time because the, the original title in Spain is Anacleto Agente Secreto right. Anacleto Secret Agent sure and it's based on a, an old comic book uh, of the 60s, 70s. Um, uh, the last comic book who, who was published was in the 80s, uh, if oh. I remember. Okay. And um, I was missing the, this character right. uh, that I used to read a lot when I was a kid. Uh, and I w w was wondering what happened with Anacleto? Uh, <laughs> Uh, who is him? Uh, where is him? So did the where comic books kind of leave it up in the air? There wasn't a real clear ending once it stopped running? Yes, because it, it was a lot of big stories. It was mm -hmm. short stories like oh, uh, the pi piano or, or Charlie Brown, you know? Sure. Yeah. There are no big adventures. There's a parody of The Secret Agent. Oh, I see. And with short stories and mm -hmm. one day they, 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 they end. Um, and for do the adaptation, we had to invent a lot of things. We have to, to in in the seventies, the character Anacleto was thirty years old, right? And now we invented a present. We we, we now he's sixty years old. He has a son, <laughs> right. and he has to deal with the new times, uh, right. with with the crisis of Spain. And who is who, uh, we wonder who is being a secret agent in Spain in this crisis. Right. So you're talking about the financial crisis that Spain is going yeah. through. So that, so that affected the budget of what he was able to work with. Of course. Right. We are all affected. Right. I'm sure the secret agents too. <laughs> and we, uh, but this is not a political movie. This right, is an, right. a, 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 co <laughs> uh, a comedy. Right. And with the financial crisis, you can do a comedy also. Sure. And with, if you mix it with spies as secret agents, mm -hmm. that's what spy time is. And I noticed that's a lot of where the humor came from was he was used to having pretty much anything at his disposal and he <laughs> asked for like helicopters and a, a squad of soldiers and they're like, sorry, we can't do that. Yeah. So he had to handle it himself and ended up in some bad situations because of it. So I thought that was a really good idea to use that. Now, Anacleto was played by Imano Arias. Am mm -hmm. I saying that right? Uh, from what I understand, he's a pretty respected actor. He's been around for a long time, but um, you had mentioned in the Q and A of the screening that he was known more as a real serious actor. Had he done any comedy at all before this film? No, he, the, the first uh, he's a big star in Spain. Mm -hmm. He has the most successful TV show uh, since uh, fifteen years. Oh wow! Uh, it's like a ma the Mad Men, Spanish Mad Men. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Cuéntame, uh, and the 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 main star is Emmanuel Arias, and he mm -hmm. did a lot of movies with Almodovar. Okay, and. He's a, a big uh, star, right? And the first thing he told me, but he told me, Javier, I never did, 
I never make a comedy. Right. I'm a dramatic <laughs> actor. And I say, okay, don't worry about it. Mm. Uh, I, I don't like uh, uh, making comedies like, um, in, in a in a caricaturistic way. I right. mean, you, you have to read the script as you are mm -hmm. uh, in a serious movie and let's, uh, uh, let's do it like that and the people will, will choose if it's funny or not. It right. depends on the script, I mean, and, and the situation. I mean, you don't have to act uh, as a comedian uh, uh, and say, okay, okay, let's try, let's try. And, you can see in the film, he's uh, a good actor, he's a great actor, right. and he can do whatever he wants. And, oh, absolutely. And, and comedy. And now uh, he's always told me, you discover me like, uh, I'm 60 years old and you discover me like a comic actor. <laughs> I can't believe people was laughing about my, my performance. Oh, wow. And he's ha very happy about it. So he's opened up a whole new side of his career <laughs> thanks to the movie, really. So he owes you now, right? I, I don't know if... <laughs> If, he, if, he's, if he's a good thing, that right, I really right. acclaim dramatic actor, <laughs> now he's in the dark side of right, the comedy. Right. Well, I guess a similar thing happened with Leslie Nielsen here in the United States uh, several years ago. He, yeah. he was a very serious actor. Yeah. Then he did Police Squad, which led yeah. to The Naked Gun and all types of movies like that. So maybe this, maybe you've created a transition in his yeah. career. So it could you, be a good thing. You know what? Uh, I, I my first film mm -hmm. is the last film of Leslie Nielsen. Oh really? I I, I worked with Leslie uh, mm -hmm. in my first movie, Spanish movie. It's called it's like a scary movie okay. in Spain. Yeah. And like he's, he's an icon right. of, the, of a spoof. Comedy. Oh absolutely. Oh, The and Naked Gun is one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big, big fan, and I'm very lucky because uh, I met him, and he, mm -hmm. he wants to come to Spain to make uh, a film, and we enjoy. A lot. We have spent a, a great time. We talk a lot about his movies, the oh, serious wow. one too. Right, right. And uh, unfortunately, um, he he died two years later. Wow. And I miss a lot his, right. him as a person because he was a genius and a great person, funny at, uh, until the end. And I miss his movies also. Yeah, that would have been an amazing experience to get to speak with him. Yeah. Um, is there anybody, um, maybe not on that level, but anybody that you would like to work with moving forward? Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a long list, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who jumps out at you? I don't know. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say very much. Right, yeah, you don't want to jinx yourself, yeah. so maybe we'll leave that one alone. Now, also there was um, Carlos Areces. Yes. Now, he was in a movie that played here at the film festival a few years ago called Game of Werewolves. Um, oh, I don't know yeah. if you're familiar with that film, but yeah. uh, that one was, it's kind of similar where it's a, almost like a parody comedy of horror movies. Um, is that something that, that he... Uh, looks for in roles, or was that like how did you get him into this? Into playing um, that was um, what's the uh, Vasquez, Vasquez, the, the villain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I mean, in my first movie, the Leslie movie, right. Le, uh, Spanish movie, uh, he was my first movie, but he, it was the first Carlos Areces movie also. Oh, really? And then we met them and we became friends and. And we did uh, three movies together. Oh, wow. And I call him all the time. <laughs> and now Almodovar is calling him also. He did uh, a movie with him. Then, as you can imagine, his career is going down. Oh, no. <laughs> he starts with me and, <laughs> and oh, now no. with Almodovar. <laughs> uh, he's a good friend. And I, I lo he loves uh, genre and fantastic movies because mm -hmm. I, I love these kind of movies too, and we talk a lot about fantastic and the horror movies. Right. For that reason, he's searching this kind of nice. Stuff. So he's really his love of movies is translating to what he does for his work. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's very similar for you too. It seems like you have a real passion for this type of movie that you did with with Spy Time. Um, do you see going anywhere else with the? character or the property? I mean, I know we can't give anything away about this movie that may or may not allow you to lead into other movies, but are there any plans for future of, of Spy Time? I don't know. I mean, uh, for me, Spy Time is one movie. Right. It's a, a creation of a new hero, and, mm -hmm. and I never thought, uh, think about a sequel if right. you're talking about that. 
because in Spain it's so hard to make a movie and to think about making a, a sequel is like too pretentious <laughs> because ah, okay. it, it means <laughs> that you are thinking about success. <laughs> right, right. No, that makes but, sense. But it, 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 it had success in Spain mm -hmm. and people asked for a sequel and who knows. Now I'm preparing a new film, right. also an adaptation of a comic book. Oh, really? Uh, What's Super, the name of it? Super Lopez is a Super superhero okay. comedy. Nice. Again, but um, I hope coming back to Seattle to right. show you the movie. So are you working on that one now or will that be starting production soon? Yeah, on um, January, I think February, January, the shooting will happen in, in Spain if everything is okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, hopefully uh, it can be ready for maybe not next year's film festival. No. That might be cutting it close, but <laughs> maybe the one after. Yeah, please. Now, um, you talk about the difficulty of being able to make films. Again, you had mentioned at the Q&A the other day that you know having to work off of a really low budget um, mm -hmm. for the special effects and the stunts and stuff like that. Can you talk about that a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, maybe some of the difficulties or challenges that you had in making the movie? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, it's a big movie, but mm -hmm. big in Spain. I mean, uh, right. Um, because it's an action comedy, I will have to make choreographies of fighting, uh, explosions, car crashing, right. and this kind of stuff. Then it's uh, you have to do it for making a an action movie. Uh, but in Spain, we have no <laughs> budget. <So> then <laughs> we have to deal with that. And what you see in the movie is what we shot. I right. mean, uh, we have no deleted scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no. Uh, we have not. Uh, Second uh, takes. I mean, we oh, have wow. to crash a car. Okay, yeah. we have one shot, one opportunity, <laughs> and let's do it. Let's shoot it and cross our fingers. And, and for, fortunately, everything uh, was okay. Right. But there's no the script is it was we we make a really hard work on the script mm -hmm. and in the shooting because we know that everything. Every day has to be in the final result of the movie because right. we have to make a one hour and a 30 minutes movie mm -hmm. and we have to take a lot of thinking about the, the shooting and, and make it everything, I don't know the name in, in English, sorry, so calculate. It, I mean, so it basically forces you to prepare yeah. even more than, okay. Yeah. When, yeah, so, when you have no budget, you mm -hmm. have to make a, a real hard preparation and right. reproduction to to get to, to the shooting very prepared and with every, uh, all the work done. Sure, so it's not like you've got 10 of the same car lined up that you can just blow up one after another from no, different angles. No. I love to wow. do that someday. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have to come to here. To... Yeah, no, yeah. we have one car right. and Hmm. Is the car that you see in the film right, exploding? Right. So no pressure at all. Let's get this right the first yeah. time. So, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of challenges with that. But I believe that doing it that way actually fit the movie really well. You know, uh, just the way the look and feel of the movie, I thought, really went well with what you were trying to present as far as the action comedy. Because I don't think you would have wanted this film to be, you know, huge special effects and all kinds of you know, computer generated. So I think, I don't think that would have fit as well with the story you're trying to tell. Uh, because, yeah, we are talking about uh, all men heroes. I mean, right. the main character has 60 years old. And I, I thought that it doesn't deal well with 3D effects and computer things. And I love the movies with artisan, uh, artisan effects. I mean, like I love real practical yeah, effects. Yeah. yeah. John Carpenter movies. Right. Right. This kind of thing. I, I feel like more real. And, sure. and I try to do, uh, as, uh, the, the special effects as, as real as is possible. Right. The, without stunts, uh, with real fights, uh, with, real shots of we have little i don't know fireworks in the little, uh, mini explosion yeah mini stuff, explosions yeah. very controlled everything right. but uh, i i want to shoot that because now with the 3d effects i mm. mean it, it's something fake for me right when i saw when i see a movie with all 
make all the movie done with a computer, right. I think we are missing something. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm sure we, 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 in a few years, everything will be okay, but I think we, <laughs> we are not in this point. And right we're getting now. close. Yeah, yeah there's, we're getting closer, right. uh, every year closer, right. but uh, there's nothing like a uh, real right. effect. Well, yeah, your eyes know. Yeah. You know, as good as they can make a, something on a computer, somehow your eyes know if something is real or not. And I'm not going to say any names, but there was a movie I just watched last week, a big, huge superhero blockbuster movie. And the entire time, I was just like, this looks like a video game. Yeah. You know, it's hard for me to really get involved in the story mm -hmm. because it doesn't look real. And I understand it's a superhero movie, so how mm -hmm. real can it be? But at the same time, you have to have that where you feel like you can touch it and that it's real and you know your movie definitely had that so you know like i said i feel unfortunately you had a small budget but i feel like it really worked for your film so yeah, now um i know you know we're here at the film festival and there's just a couple screenings and i saw that spy time is actually available on netflix right now on streaming so people can watch it that way right um, are there any plans for uh, uh, distribution in the states to where it'd be potentially in theaters uh, I don't know uh, is it Netflix right now in the yeah. US ah, okay uh, then yeah. this is a new oh you didn't know that <laughs> are you okay with that <laughs> yeah very, very happy, I'm very happy right yeah I, I knew that uh, Netflix bought, uh, bought a spy time for all the world oh, okay. but um, and they told me that they they release the movie in the countries that with uh, sorry for my English. Sure. Uh, then he's not released on theaters. Oh, I see. Then okay. it means that if now he's in Netflix mm -hmm. in the U.S., I mean, I don't think that he will be released in in the theaters. Oh, right? I see. But I'm happy because in Netflix, I love Netflix. Right. Yeah. I yeah. have Netflix in Spain. Um, you can see in your house my movie. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> no, absolutely. So, yeah, on that note, I'll just say thank you again for making this movie. And, thank you. you know, thank you for sitting down with me and talking about the movie. And, you know, again, for everybody listening, uh, please go watch the movie on Netflix or find a way to watch it. Uh, you <laughs> will definitely enjoy it. Any, any last thoughts from you? No, thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you, and I hope you enjoy the film. Uh, and people who are listening enjoy the film as you are, as you have. Excellent. Well, thank you, and enjoy the rest of your time in Seattle.